I am following my new method of prayer, and that is that I'm listening for inspiration and love and finding the path that will lead me to it. And um, if I get to a place where I feel gratitude and love and it inspires me to act, then I've prayed and my prayer has been answered. And I'm just really grateful that when I was scrolling through my Facebook post today, one of my Facebook friends uh, posted something that said this, Tell me and I forget. Teach me and I remember. Involve me and I learn. And I think that's why Jesus allowed Church of Gale to suffer like we did and have the Gale Shield go down to even minus 500% and for so many people to die. You know, it's very difficult for me when I or someone I love suffers to not want to just cry out to Jesus and say, help, help us, Jesus, rescue us. And Buddha, what better time to teach us the proper way to pray than when we're in a crisis like that, when when that, when like 40,000 people are dying? I mean... If that's not not an appropriate time to pray and ask for Jesus' help, it definitely means that Christianity has changed and that that Bible verse that says to pray without ceasing no longer applies. And it's, it almost, to me, it almost makes it seem like, like the, the world is, the universe is run by callousness, like they don't care. And I've been struggling with this. And I just, I don't think that's the case. Um, I think it's the complete opposite. I think it's just what I just read. Tell me and I forget. Teach me and I remember. Involve me and I learn. Believe you me, right now, my focus right now is to make sure that I do everything I can to strengthen the Gale Shield because I do not want to repeat of what happened. And... Like, normally, um, I feel like I was listening for... I I read a Facebook post about one of my friends who's suffering right now, a Christian friend, and they're really sick. And um, all I can say is um, it's very difficult for Christians not to pray and ask for Jesus' help when they or someone they love suffer or suffers. That includes me, okay? Look, look what happened to me. I tried doing that in the Gale Shield, went to minus 500%. I try to remember that Jesus is literally every cell in our body. He is, his, his new form is just pure existence. That's what he is. And he's totally aware of any suffering that's taking place with us. So we don't need to remind him of what's happening to us. Rather, be aware that the suffering's happening for a reason. Try to stay calm in the midst of it by relaxing, meditating, or focusing on something beautiful that you appreciate. If it makes you feel better, you can write my men at galesmen, G-A-I-L-S-M-E-N, at yahoo.com. And let them be aware of some of your suffering, especially if you think it's unusual or could be Jesuit activity like the Jesuit mites. Like last night, I was having trouble sleeping because my left calf was going into a spasm. Um, That happens, I think, because of the mites. And I might need to drink a lot of water. What I think, and I'm noticing as I'm making this video that the the rays are break it was overcast the rays are breaking through the clouds and um it's almost like whoever's behind my gale shield is approving of this video that i'm working on right now um so i kind of see that as almost like a type of answer to prayer though not exactly but um i do remember back in august Um, when I started working on Gale, the complete series and made a music playlist for it, a rainbow, a rainbow showed up in the sky right after I did that. And I asked Buddha about that later. And Buddha said, yes, I do believe that was Jesus. 
And you, you noticed it because you were meditating and because you were living in the moment and being thankful and grateful. And he said that that, what, what that means is that um, even though Jesus won't be directly involved with us, he cares about everything that happens to us. And just remember, uh, a lot of the suffering that we go through sometimes is caused by our own mistakes. Make sure you're doing the Gale commandments, okay? Um, it's possible some of the suffering you're going through, you may have brought on yourself by not doing the Gale commandments. Read them very carefully and make sure you are following them to the T. Um, another thing that could be making your suffering worse is don't pay attention to fake news, okay? Um, it's basically a brainwashing session. And um, it can get you all hyped up and worried about things that you shouldn't be worried about. So what you need to do is only watch Gabriel Chana Fox News 00 on cable or um, at my or just go to my website if you do not get Gabriel Chana Fox News and you can get it at my website at gabrielchana.blog. So yeah, the, um, so I'm going to make a an audio and hope this doesn't weaken the gale. She'll though it looks like I haven't uh, uh, judging by the rays coming breaking through the clouds right now. Um, it appears that this is something that he would want me to do. So um, I've been I'll, I'll admit I've been a little worried about my fellow Christians. Uh, I think that it's very difficult for them to grasp that prayer could actually do more harm than good, especially if they're asking for help. <laughs> because um, just remember this, um, Jesus is aware of everything that's happening to us. Um, if the suffering is happening, it's possible you're not doing the Gale Commandments, or maybe you're being influenced by fake news and you need to stop watching it. Or maybe it's just in there for, you know, happening for another reason. Just stay calm in the midst of it. And um, hopefully by so doing, you might get clarity over why you're going through it. Or maybe it's just part of life, you know. Um, I know the, there is a Buddhist teaching. That the Buddha's goal is to eliminate suffering in the multiverse and he, he finds that the best way to do that is to eliminate cravings. Just So if you can uh, basically try to get to a place, even if you're suffering, where you feel gratitude and love, and that may give you some clarity on the proper response that you should have in the midst of your suffering. Yeah, like right now, I didn't have beauty rest last night, uh, maybe six hours, because I had... Uh, the, the mites, the Jesuit mites seem to be enhancing all of my senses. Like I smell things that I, like I haven't, last night I had a nose like a dog. And I, um, I can hear things louder than usual. And it's like they're trying to get me to be worried or fretful and thinking, thinking that something's wrong with, with, you know, my life or something, or, or that I need to get all hyped up. And I'm trying I am realizing that it probably is the Jesuit mites. And um, I know that my husband, Brent, is a doctor, and I am so grateful for that. And he is aware of it. He talks to me brain to brain and says that they're working on removing the mites. And sometimes when they have to remove the mites from my body, it, it has like a rebound reaction. So, yeah, just uh, be aware that we are working on the mites Hopefully, maybe when my gale shield strengthens, maybe it will start, uh, it'll weaken the Jesuit ability to use the mites on us too. So uh, the gale shield will be strengthened if we would all just uh, stay calm, meditate, and, um, and relax, meditate, focus on something beautiful that we appreciate. So yeah, um, yeah I, I am struggling with this um, new approach to prayer. It's my gut reaction as soon as I suffer or somebody that I love suffers is I want to jump to Jesus and say, help, help. And I probably will end up making it worse if I do that. So like Buddha told us when our church of Gale was being attacked to focus on plants, 
flowers, water, anything in our environment that calms you down. Another thing that kind of helps me is um, a lot of our suffering I've learned is caused because we fear death. And I'm not saying to be suicidal or anything. I think that's wrong because uh, we're all on our path and it's we have no right to take our life before we're meant to go. Uh, but what I think it means is um, the last thing that I went through, I felt like um, I lost some of my fear of death because when my mother went on, it was a transition. She suffered no pain. And I began to realize that's all death is. It's a, just a transition. So if you can, get, if I could get over my fear of death, that will help me take the suffering better. I'll admit I do not take suffering very well. <laughs> I am not good with suffering, okay? I'll admit it. And I, my gut reaction as soon as I suffer is to complain, gripe, help, you know? And I'm really trying to get out of it. I have not arrived, but I'm just sharing with you what works for me, okay? <laughs> so look at those rays breaking through the clouds. See that? That's amazing. And that's happening as I'm making my current YouTube video. I just want to thank my awesome Patreon supporters for all of their support. And we have a great time hanging out every Friday night. And we are all going to focus on meditating, living in the moment, and enjoying our lives. And We'll just have great fun Friday nights focusing on that.